So my big question is, if a kid comes with minimal change disease, are you going to bops that kid's kidney? No. Why? Are you going to assume that a kid who presents with nephrotic syndrome has got minimal change disease unless proven otherwise? Yes, you are. Because minimal change disease is the most common reason in kids. It's 90% and above. So if a kid presents with nephrotic syndrome, if there is no features suggestive of anything else, if there's no feature suggestive of any other secondary etiology, then you will basically say, no, this is minimal change disease and you don't have to biopsy. So if somebody presents with minimal change, if, if a kid presents with nephrotic syndrome, you assume it's minimal change disease and you don't need to biopsy their kidney unless they, one, fail treatment, okay? Or number two, they have other features suggestive of some other secondary etiology. That's what you need to know. Okay?